Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. We are back home and I just wanted to show you what we got. Let's just hop right into it. We got some Hillshire Farm. Um, This is ultra thin pastrami. I don't know if we've ever gotten pastrami before. We've gotten salami quite a few times, but never really uh pastrami so that's an interesting find we aren't big like salami pastrami type eaters when it comes to deli meat we usually just get like ham turkey something like that but these are cool finds because it allows us to kind of taste it see if we like it you know all the above so yeah nice little find there we have some jc potter hot link sausage here those just kind of look hot too. <laughs> you see that stuff on there? That looks pretty hot. And I'm not just truly a hot person. So yeah, okay. If somebody wants some, they can definitely just grab those. The people we give to. All right, we have some ground beef. We have ground beef in the one pound um, little rolls here. And this is 73.27. That's what these are. I was looking to see if there was an expiration date sometimes it's tucked there oh there we go april 16th of 21 that's in two days i believe so it's probably best if frozen by then um i'm sure it's okay if it's not though however we're going to go ahead and just dump them in the freezer because it's easier for us now as far as ground beef goes we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so 11 pounds right here of ground beef. Great fine. Nice and fatty. We have two packages of the sliced watermelon. Saw this in there and just wanted to grab it, especially right now since I'm juicing a lot. So this is a great find for me. Um, looks like these were selling for $3.39 and $3.19. So I'm just going to cut the rind off and juice that. This broccoli is from uh, yesterday's haul, which I think you all would have seen already. So yeah, it's just still laying on the counter because we're about to cook it. Okay, we have four of the chicken fryers here. I got a couple of compliments, uh, not compliments, <laughs> a couple of comments saying, well, there's other ways to prepare chicken than just frying. Why are you calling them fryers? Well, I call them fryers because they're actually called fryers in our store. And then the bigger uh, chickens are called roasters. So um, yes, there are definitely tons of ways to prep chicken, but so yeah, if you look right there, they're called fryers. So that is why we call them fryers. Sorry for that confusion. Maybe they're not called fryers at your store. I don't know if it's just something our store says, but 
That's why I call them fryers. So there you go, four of those. We have one pack of the Johnsonville Brown Sugar and Honey Breakfast Sausage. Y'all, that just sounds so good. Brown sugar and honey, it sounds like this would be amazing. Expiration date on this is the 23rd. Today is the 14th, I believe. So still have quite a bit of time with this as well. Um, Let's go here. Natural, no antibiotics, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I believe it's two in here, and this was selling for $5.52. It's, uh, it's kind of hefty for two chicken breasts, in my opinion. Um, pork cube steak. Now, this is something that we have never gotten before, and it's also something that I have never purchased before. So, any recipes you guys have for this would be great. Looks like it comes with two four six in this pack and we have three packs here all of them are in great condition everything is cool one two three four five six seven that may come with seven um everything's cool it's in good condition i just don't know how to really prepare these we've never had to i don't know if this is like a um like a german um schnitzel is that what it's called where you bread it and then kind of like pan fry it i'm not for sure but Anyway, three of those, so that's a good deal. We also have some of the beef short ribs, and this is from our new grocery store that we went to that is five for 25 as well. And so yeah, just some beef short ribs. Looks pretty good though, pretty good, pretty good. All right, next we have some steam in the bag, my favorite vegetables. This is a broccoli carrot cauliflower mix here so I can just uh oh it says serve four okay I can just put that in the microwave let it steam and yes side dish is done now also we have some grapes I love juicing grapes so this is cool got a little little small container of this this was going for three dollars and ninety nine cents wow Four bucks, y'all, for this. This is, uh, yeah, okay. We have a little small package of watermelon. This is going for $3.35. We have also a little small container of cantaloupe. As you can see, this is going for $3.84. All of this expires today, by the way. Oh, was it good? You done already? Oh, okay. Babe made some pancakes. He said they're really good. Then we have two big packs of this watermelon here. This is going for, oh gosh, $9.66. My goodness. Wow. For, I mean, this is like a, um, probably about a medium-sized container, but that's still kind of pricey. Isn't watermelon in season right now? I don't know. This one is going for $8.86, but I feel like whenever you get it like in containers like this, you're paying for the convenience of not having to, you know, cut the rind off and chop it off and all that, but whew, it's not that much convenience in the world. I'll do it myself because for $9.66, you can get legit a whole watermelon and dice it and probably get way more than what comes in there. So, you know. I don't know. It's just about convenience. Would you rather uh, spend the time or spend the money? I think everything in life comes down to that time or money. Anyway, you guys, this is today's haul. Oh, I have one more thing I need to show you. Hold on. Okay, I hadn't even grabbed this stuff out yet. I forgot to, forgot to put it on the table. All right, we have some P3. These are the portable protein pack situation chips here this has chicken peanuts and cheddar so if you look right here these are like protein packs like if you're out and about or about to go work out or whatever if you just need a jolt of protein this is what these are designed for so it comes with the cheese right there some peanuts as well as some chicken pieces very interesting I have not tried these um, let me see if it gives us any more info. 13 grams of protein. For those of you all that know about that kind of stuff, let me know if that's good or not. I'm not a huge, you know, I don't know a lot about protein and carbs and grams and all of that stuff. That's not my ministry. I don't know that. 
but apparently these are good. So we have about five of these, I'm thinking. So we have six of these total. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty guys, so that is it. That's what we got today. Great, great, great haul. Definitely comment down below what you think your favorite um, part of the haul is. Don't forget to like the channel. Also, subscribe to the channel is what I'm trying to say and like the video. How about that? But yeah, alright guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye friends. Bye.